All right, so having done all of the hard work, hopefully, we can now bring these around to join up to these. So we'll take... Uh, now, you could bring these down at, at an angle if you really wanted to. Um, I think it's better to just bring them down straight and then kind of sort, sort things out. I almost, I almost used bad language then. So I'm thinking we kind of bring this out like this and then bring it in like this. You know what? We're going to take floating off, go back to pillars, and we're going to go back to collide. Now... What about if we bring this out this way, like that? Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. So this will bring out kind of straight, and then oh, I'm going to have to take the snap off. And even with the snap off, it's going to be kind of tricky. You know what? Probably our best bet is to bring this out like this. Oh, man, this is going to be gonna be tricky you know what I'm gonna try and do it this from this side let's zoom in a little bit see if it gets any easier at all oh come on please man look it's so fussy so fussy right so having done that if we bring that out kind of sort of to that oh man I, that, that I didn't want to do let's try that again so what I want is to bring it out to about there and then hook it round to this come on come on go to the right one no it needs to come out a little bit further oh come on hook to the right one okay you know what I'm just gonna try and do it from this end then which it uh... oh there we go there we go Okay, all right. I am, I must admit, reasonably happy with that. All right, so now we need to hook it up to, um, to Clapham Junction. Now, Clapham Junction, we need to do a tiny bit of work on because we're gonna put another station in here. Now, ultimately this may change, so I'm not gonna go like crazy insane about this. I'm gonna try and do this quite quickly. So we're going to take this road out here and we're going to take this section of bridge out there and that section of road out there. Then we're going to put in uh, a road and um, I'm going to try and use a four lane road here, I think. Because this, I, well, I don't know. I don't know. I th I, no, I think we're going to have to use a two lane. Um, now, uh, I'm going to use a straight road. Now, the, the key here is that the, the, the zoning area needs to be clear of this station. That's kind of your guide. So that actually needs to come back a tiny bit more. Yeah, actually, that can go a tiny bit closer. How about there? Oh, that looks, that looks about right. That looks about right guys now if you wanted to you could turn collide off and you could actually like semi overlap them which might be a cool thing to do you know you could play around with that if you wanted to now I'm gonna put a rural station in like this boom and see that say that it just fits nicely into that now you could put a regular station you'll need to leave a little bit more room if you do that so I'm gonna put this in like there cool all right, so we've got our second station in. Excellent. Now the question is, can we get this to go down, uh, as a well, page down, and hook up to this? That's going to be the challenge. So let's uh, demolish that section, and then take a road, a page down, and is there like any freaking chance of getting this to do something sensible? The answer is probably no. Um, what we can do is maybe if we take this out kind of like that, 
and hook this up like kind of like that see if we now even with the snap off i want to be kind of in the middle but i could take the bridge from there if i do a page down this see now i can get it now i can get the thing in there we go cool and like i said this this is this pro is probably going to change so i'm not going to be like overly fussy about it and then we're going to want to hook these roads up in some kind of way shape or form and i'm thinking probably like that kind of thing and then th this this road kind of doesn't go like this and in fact there isn't really a, a road on the on the back because this is this is all accessed from this side but but we'll we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of adapt right so now we've got that in um, we need to hook this up and this actually hooks up really easily I found I was thinking oh my god this is gonna be a nightmare now nah, actually it's dead easy uh, if we go get a bit of track and then page down and then we can just hook up to this like really easy like that boom and then uh, this track on this end let me show you this end see this end no problem and and you can adjust these bridges as well you don't have to have it like that you can have them pretty much exactly the same i got it exactly the same last time i'm not going to fuss with it this time um so what was i doing i was putting in another track at this end wasn't i yeah i was so we just want this to kind of hook up like that there we go right so there we go uh, we've got our clapham junction right but i want two lines actually I want two lines going up here, so let's, uh, let's modify this a little bit. I'd actually forgotten that I wanted two lines, but I do want two lines because I think it looks um, I think it looks better. So what we're going to do? We're going to take uh, now. I want straight, and I want the snap on because I want to go straight out from here to like not very far, but just a little bit. You know, what would be really cool, hang on, if I, if I bring this out, like, uh, see, you, if you hold down the shift key, you can come out at five degree angles, can you see, if you look down here, right, where the mouse is now, right, can you see, you get like one, 175, 170, 165, I'm going to bring this out at like 175, to like, wherever I think the centre would be. So about there, and then we're going to do same with this one. So we're going to bring this one. Now this we want the other way coming the other way. So this is going to be like hold down the shift key and oh, it's it's going to snap. That's the problem, man. You sucky piece of garbage. Right, that'll have to do. That's as close as we're going to get it. So then we can bring this. Now where are we going? We're going round there. So I think we're going to have to do this with uh, the freeform tool. We're going to have to. I think we're going to have to go a bit curvy, guys. So I think we're going to have to come in round, kind of like that sort of dealio. And then we want this probably like you know that was. That was very, very close, but that's, no, that's way too much. Ah, stop it. See, it's snapping now. I need to take the snap tool off. How about there? Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. That'll do. That'll do pig. I must admit, I would kind of like to get these pillars lined up, but that's just a step too far. It's You'd be playing around for freaking ages trying to get that to uh, do what you want it to do. So I'm going to bring this round probably like that, and then hopefully do the same kind of thing with this. It, it is kind of difficult to get like exactly the curve that you want, but... If you play around, oh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Uh, close enough. 
if if I'm really upset around about it, then I'll I'll play around with it later. So no, that needs to come out. Touch more. How about there? Oh, that works. That works. Oh, yeah. You can see this little bit. This little bit here needs to be just a fraction closer. I might play around with that later, but I don't know. We'll see. So, <laughs> I let me give you a little look at this bit because I think that that is really really cool. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's really really cool. The Vauxhall Viaduct. And, and like from down here, you know, I'll, I'll put that picture up in the corner and you can see that that, that really is kind of like how it is. And then we've got a kind of an islandy thing going on around the back, but we'll kind of do that another time. Okay, so um, now all I need to do is play around with the, uh, with the lines, which uh, I'm not going to bore you with because... Um, because it's just it's just fiddly so let me do that okay so I've uh, I've sorted the lines out now I've put four four trains on each line let me just show you if I come back to here where we can see both of the lines um, if I switch to transport uh, I've made this line yellow right and then we've got this line is uh, is blue right and if we come up here you'll be able to see that the um, the Shepparton train which goes to Kingston, goes into platform one and two, and I've turned this platform on, and now we've got the uh, the Pearly train, which apparently goes to Caterham. Somebody told me uh, this train goes into platforms um, three and four. Ha ha ha! Right, and uh, I've cleaned up the lines, and I've put four trains on each. So you know what? Should we turn it on, and should we actually see it run? Because I've I sat here for a while. Uh, after I did this the last time, watching this run, it's v I think it's very, very cool. So you know what? I'm going to crank it up to fast, so that um, so that we we can see some trains, and you'll see the people on like let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, oh, that's a bit too close. Oh, there's a pearly train going off. Here's the people waiting for the Kingston train. One of these would be me on a regular basis. Here is here's a Kingston train. And there's another pearly train going off to pearly. Oh, look at these people. The crazy buses are running across the tracks. What the hell's the matter with you? There's trains coming in and out of here, you crazy... Dear, oh dear. But what's even cooler, right, is um, to come around this side and watch all of the people um, getting on and off the trains and getting on and off the, the Waterloo and City line. Look, here's some people. Oh, look. And look how many people are starting to use this now. And if we go to the transport uh, and we actually have a look at the numbers, right? Uh, these numbers really start to go up. We're already up to like 275 on the train. This is up to 105 on the, uh, the Waterloo and City line. And look, I mean, you can see there's a lot of people starting to use this now. I, now, I don't know what you think, but seeing a transport network actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. I mean, geez, compare this to SimCity. You could never, ever see this in SimCity, could you? Let's be honest. I mean, trains actually going where you want them to go and subways and all this kind of stuff. Look at all the people coming and going, going to work, coming, going home. Oh, Look at all these people. There's loads of them. Right? And that's just two of the lines. There's loads of lines. Um, now, we need to put in um, the, the, the Surbiton train as well. Now, the reason that I've made these blue and yellow is so that we can easily see that because the, um, the Surbiton line, if we follow this out here. Ah, now, let, I'm going to pause this because, look... See this orange train, right? This is coming in. This is uh, this is coming in. This is, now this is bringing thirty-four passengers, right? But it's not a, a, a Shepparton train. This is coming in from the this main line, which actually goes out, and it it goes like way out here and hooks up. In actual fact, to uh, where's the train line going out this side? There is a train line going out this side somewhere. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's this one. 
it's this one that goes out here and the this Shepparton train actually goes like right round the edge of the map and hooks up to that but it is connected to the outside world so we're getting trains coming in from the outside world as well right and in fact look we've got right now one of these orange trains haha <laughs> look transporting passengers to San Vegas so we've got three different types of trains coming in here which I think is pretty cool should we switch it on and just like <laughs> Just enjoy the train. Oh, there's a pearly train. Oh, there's the carriage from coming in from Kingston. Oh, there's another pearly train. <laughs> like, come on, you've got to love this. Imagine when I've got, like, the whole tube network set up. Now, is that going to take a while? Hell yeah, I hope you're in for the long haul, guys, because I actually want to get this whole thing like really running like as close to reality as I can possibly get it. How much are we making? We're making like two and a half grand at the moment, which means we've only got like 120,000 because I've just spent a whole load on train track and tunnels and stuff. Um, I still want to put the gherkin in, right? So I think at this point, now I, I said at the end of the last episode that I was maybe going to do like the M1 or, you know, Wembley or something like that. The In actual fact, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna hook this up to this highway um, just so that like goods can get shipped in but I'm gonna focus on um, on the southwest corridor uh, and I'll tell you for why in a second let me just put this in so let's run that like that we'll do a quick page I'm not gonna be fussy about this because this is this is gonna change so we'll just hop over this railway track uh, we'll do a quick page down, boom, and then I'm going to drag it over here, and then we're going to hook up this highway, just so that stuff can get in, like for no other reason. So we'll take this, and I want the freeform tool, because I want to just bend this slightly. Bit of bend it like Beckham, and we'll bring this out, no, oh, that was a bit too much, there, like that, cool. Uh, this is actually, this is the A1M that's hooked up to. Now there's the M1. Where is the M1? The M1's over here. And I guess there is absolutely no reason why we shouldn't hook this up. Um, let me turn the map on. Okay, so, yeah, this comes, like, pretty much straight up here. So let's get rid of the map. i got to say, the map does make things laggy on occasions. But... Okay, it is what it is. Right, so let's just put that there, right? Uh, oh, I've put it. I've put it in with a. <laughs> I've put it with a blooming highway, Barnhead. At least I spotted it this time. So let's turn this into six-way. There we go. Then we'll go back to the highway and we'll do it the same as we did before. And we'll just just hook this up like this. Nothing fancy. There we go. That's actually a pretty nice. Junction. I like that. Right, so now that's hooked up to that. That runs all in through Wembley. Right, so that means we've got two more highway connections for traffic to get in and out on, which is good. Right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop over here and I'm going to put in... Um, there's no commercial over here. So I figured that we should put in a little bit of commercial for these guys. So let's put in... Um, how are we going to do this? So I guess from like... Oh, with this marquee tool. Uh, let's... Like that. Oh, I didn't quite, didn't quite get that edge. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to put in... I think I'm going to put in high density. Which um, is probably going to upset the people over here a bit with the noise. But kind of get over it. Right, so we're going to put in some uh, high-density commercial up there. That's probably, that's to be honest, that's probably a bit too much. But, but, but like, I don't care. <laughs> Here's what it is. Let's put in a little bit more residential. And we can put in a bit more residential here as well. There we go. And, I mean, I mean to be absolutely honest, there's nothing to stop us, like, extending this. Uh, and putting a bit more in over here, even. Actually, yeah, you know what, like, like why kind of wouldn't we put in, I mean, we, we're paying for the roads, we might as well put some, uh, 
put some buildings on them get this starting to expand a bit we've got some garbage uh, collection going on over here uh, we could pro I've put in a fire service somewhere oh here I, uh, here, I put in a, a fire station over here that's, those are the only two services it's just to stop all the buildings burning down to be honest we could probably do with another fire station over here now that I've put all these in but I think we'll kind of live with it so uh, having put all that in right now it's time to put in like more uh, of the, 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 the southwest corridor. But simply because it, it makes sense having put all this transport infrastructure in, we may as well like put the roads in and then we can get more people using these trains. I want these trains absolutely packed rolling into Waterloo, you know, day after day. I think it's just going to look so awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to get to work. I think the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lay in a whole bunch of roads, which um, I'll probably time-lapse for you. Well, maybe that will be the start of the next episode. And then we'll uh, we'll zone it all in. We'll put in some, throw in some services. We'll switch on some more of the train stations. And then we'll probably have um, a minute or two just sitting and watching the masses of people going up on the train to Waterloo and then crossing on the drain over to the city of London. Do you think that's cool? If you think that's cool, drop me a comment. And if you don't think it's cool, drop me a comment and tell me why. I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Peace out.